Hey, Mark here with Homesear. Today on the message board, one of our customers posted a question asking how he could display a flashing graphic in HS Touch when his garage door was open. And um, that, that's a good question. How do you do that? Um, well, the problem is that HS Touch doesn't automatically support flashing or animated graphics. Uh, for example, you can't do an animated GIF and then have that run inside of HS Touch. So I responded to him and I said, well, you really can't do it. What you can do is create some static graphics and have those represent the, uh, you know, red could be the garage door uh, is open and green could be the garage door is closed. And he, you know, I, I think he was grateful for the answer, but at the same time really wanted that icon to flash. So I gave it a little extra thought today and I thought, you know, we, we can do that. It's going to take a few steps to make it happen, but um, you, you actually can do that if, if you set it up just right. So I took a little time this afternoon and I uh, made some changes uh, in our system here and uh, I created um, a graphic that would flash. So I, I thought I would share that with uh, everybody. This is how to do it. First of all, I've got uh, two devices in here I want to focus on. One is, uh, actually in, in my case, they're both virtual devices, meaning I created them on the fly here. Uh, one is for the garage door indicator, and one is for the garage door sensor itself. And um, in his case, he's not going to use a virtual device for this garage door sensor. He's going to actually use the garage door sensor device from his system, all right? But uh, the garage door indicator is what makes everything happen, coupled with a couple of events. So let me show you what to do. When you create a virtual device in Homesear, the way to do that is to click on uh, this little green plus sign in the upper right-hand corner here, and then it goes into, let me pull this over, it goes into this kind of screen where you can name the device and you can also put it in uh, a floor, in a room, you know, use the location attributes. Now, in my case, I just simply named it Garage Door Indicator. And I put it in the category of status and in the room of device. This part's not essential, really. Uh, the essential part is to navigate over to Status Graphics. And this is where you set the foundation for how this whole thing's going to work. Uh, what I wanted to do was create a device that would be green. In other words, it would display a green icon when the garage door was closed, and then it would flash between a yellow icon and a red icon when the garage door was open. So when you first create a virtual device, what it does is it creates for you uh, two values, and uh, usually that's a value of 0 and as a, and a value of 100. And uh, you can use those values or you can, you can change them to something else. They're really arbitrary. They just need to be different from each other. I left them as 0 and 100. And 0 typically is off, is what reads here. And 100 is typically on. So it creates this device which can be controlled and turned on or turned off. I wanted to add an additional value because remember I want to blink between yellow and red. So I click this button down below here and I added one more value which was 200. Again, this can be an arbitrary number. It could be 6. It doesn't matter. It just has to be different than the other two. So 200 and then I called that red. Then down below um, I went into my image editor. I happen to use an old copy of Photoshop, but you can use anything else. I created three graphics. I made them 64 pixels by 64 pixels, although you can make them bigger or smaller. It's up to you. Uh, and they don't have to be just blocks of color. You can make them look like real garage doors if you want to. Anyway, um, I associated the value of 0 with green, the value of 100 with yellow, and the value of 200 with red. So these are three different graphics. Okay, so that's the underlying foundation for what you need to do with this device. Let me go back to the device screen. Again, as I say, the other device, I created a virtual one for because I want to demonstrate this for you in this video. In your case, if you already have a sensor, you're going to be using that sensor as the controlling device. Okay, now let's go over to, oh, you know, before I jump into events, uh, let me break the suspense here and show you how this actually works. If we navigate over to the right here where this garage door, when the garage door opens, what should happen is in HS3, 
uh, it'll start blinking this icon between yellow and red. And because I've already put that in my little HS Touch project to the left here, it'll blink that as well. So let me click on Open and demonstrate how that works. And you can see these are not necessarily going to be in synch synchronization with each other simply because there's internet lag and other things involved here, network lag involved. But as you can see, they are blinking, blinking, blinking. They're going to continue to blink, and in HS Touch, it'll continue to flash between yellow and red until I go and close the garage door. So uh, in my case, I'm just going to click the close button here on the virtual device, and that should revert back to green. And there we go, green and green. Okay, so it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. Let me show you what the events look like that make all this happen. So let me navigate to the events area and scroll down to the section where I have these events. Okay, and they're in the middle here. So I've got uh, set garage door indicator to flash when garage door is open and set garage door indicator to green when the garage door is closed. Let me open these up. Let me start with this one. And here's what I did. I used the recurring trigger, uh, trigger, <laughs> and I set it to trigger every four seconds. So when you go to your master list of triggers, you want to look for recurring trigger, and then in the time picker, just set it to recur every four seconds. But then I added a condition, and the condition is, uh, and if the uh, garage door has, in this case, a value equal to open. Let me open that up. See, there's open and closed, right? So in, in the case of our customer, it's going to recur every four seconds as long as the garage door is open. And what recurs is this. It's going to change the garage door indicator to yellow. It's going to wait two seconds. And then it's going to change the indicator to red and wait another two seconds. And this will continue to repeat every four seconds as long as the garage door is open. All right, so that's my first event. My second event is to change that indicator to green when the garage door is closed. Very simple event. If the garage door sensor changes and becomes closed, then set the garage door indicator to green. Okay, so that's all you really need to do. Navigate back to the device area and show you one more time. When I open the garage door, the blinking starts. And when I close it, it turns back to green. And there you have it. Hope that helps.